fucking absolute joke. And at the same time, you've got these fucking clowns going, oh, look, black holes. 55 gazillion squids. Look, we've got a black hole. Wee -hee. It's a fucking absolute shite show, man. Pisses me right off. Should be pissing every cunt off. That's what I don't fucking get. Or this fucking apathy and passive bullshit. People should be fucked off to fuck. This here, this nonsense, this, apparently this is a black hole 55 million fucking light years away. The, uh, the, the mainstream scientific community is, is all having orgasms about, right? Again, the scientific community. Some morons with a computer produce what looks to me like a fucking donut, right? A cake lying on a fucking table. And these clowns are all up in arms about it. It's just, it's like they're just ripping the pish right out of you people. They're just ramming it right in your face and laughing at you. And this is oh, there's a candid clap. This is the first ever image of a black hole. It's a fucking smudge on a screen. When I saw the first image, I said, you know, wow, that's it. It's a true, like a eureka. Wow, that's it. When you saw the first image, wow, that's it. I mean, I'm absolutely dumbfounded with some of these clowns here. Honestly, I, I don't really have the words, the vocabulary to express the absolute lunacy of these people. A moment in our scientific lives. We're looking this. A, a eureka moment in our scientific lives. It's a fucking mathematical concept, Hen. And you've got people in wee rooms casting up computer images. And you've got you morons all having orgasms in a big room. This is it. We've finally seen it. Scientists came up with this crazy idea in the 1930s and they never even Never a truer word spoken. Scientists came up with a crazy idea. They weren't the scientists. They may have been scientists of utter lunacy. The science of being a lunatic moron. Maybe. But, you know, we have to use that word very lightly here when we're dealing with this garbage. Imagine that one day we would actually see... Imagined. Imagined that one day we would actually see a smudge on a screen. And now we're all tickling each other because we've got the smudge on a screen. Black hole. It's so far only a few blurry splotches of light, and yet they contain so much information about the physics of the universe. Fuck away, go and don't talk shite, mate. A smudge on a fucking screen explains the physics of the universe. Deal with physics here in reality. The physics here in reality are telling you Something totally different from what your imagination is telling you. How is it you can be rewarded for having an overactive imagination and spewing utter garbage? Eh? Look at all these privileged dipshits and their wee smudges on a screen. Living the life of Riley where there's people fucking starving and in all sorts of fucking, you know, horrendous conditions here in actual reality where these fucking cretins run about living in swanky fucking hotels and jet setting about the place, sharing their wee fucking smudged images on a screen and congratulating each other on how fucking stupid they are. Yeah, I've been dreaming about this for 25 years. When I thought, saw the first data, it was just some weird plot. And it looked like there could be a ring in there. I was like, oh my God, this is going to be interesting. He's obsessed looked, with rings. Looks pretty much what we were... I wonder why he was so excited at the prospect of a ring. Ooh, there might be a ring in there, ooh. Expecting, which was, for a theoretician, is always a, you know... A theoretician. A, a theoretician. Aye. Somebody with an overactive imagination that cannot tell the difference between reality and their imagination. That's been championed and rewarded. The moment when you have to compare what you spent years simulating with what actually nature is It looks like a simulation again to me, son. That just looks like a smudge generated by a computer. That's not an actual photograph of a black hole. How the fuck do you take a photograph of a black hole? This is just like kind of the beginning of being able to have another window into what black holes can tell us about um, our laws and, uh, and physics. Um, She's super excited, our laws and physics. What a picture.
right? A picture hen. And I don't get this over exuberance, this over excitedness. It seems a bit contrived to me. Um, but already we've we've learned so much. So you know, we didn't know. Even what can you be specific? What did you actually learn? Specifics, please. We had predicted that if you had a black hole that you would see this ring of light. We didn't know we were going to get that ring of light. And that's, you know, what we were kind of testing. We could have gotten just a blob. And so seeing that... You did get just a blob. I don't, maybe how she's got special eyes. I just see a blob. A ring. And seeing a ring that has a size that is consistent with other measurements that have been done completely differently. Measurements? What do you mean by measurement? Do you notice that there? Measurement. What does you use to measure your smudge? I think that in itself, just being able to see that ring of light, being able to see that that ring exists is huge. We are also releasing this data that has uh, from the Event Horizon Telescope that were used to create this image. So whoever... That were used to create this image. Note the use of language there. Slipping it in. Data used to create the image. No, we actually snapped the image. It's not an actual photograph. We created it. Out there has a, you know, alternative theory of gravity. Can just grab this data and test it. Well, the How are you going to test it? I would love to see the testing of black holes here in reality. The big goal still is to make an image of the black hole in the center of our Milky Way. So, the, the goal here is to make an image of the black hole in the centre of our Milky Way. So this is them just adding to their, their mathematical concept and their new utilising an image. Just putting an image, some arbitrary random image there in the middle of their fucking theoretical concept and try to pass that off as that's your actual reality. Because it has a much better determined mass. And so we can do much better tests. Black hole has determined mass. How the fuck did you determine that, sir? Of general relativity. And we can also have other telescopes look at it. Uh, there are the infrared interferometers, we can, which see gas going around it. So combining all this information will give us a much better image of how black holes actually work. An image of how black holes actually work. Okay. You know, I don't need an image of, you know, anything in my direct reality. I can just go to it and see how it actually works. No images, no concepts, no language, no over entitled, you know, uh, uh, entitled morons in swanky hotels congratulating each other on utter pish cartoon drawings. Right? I can just go into my reality and see it and mess with it and find out exactly what it is and demonstrate it to my fellow man, you know? The picture we have seen today is only a first taste of what the Event Horizon Telescope can deliver. For fuck's Already sake. the data they have in the bag can produce a lot more information. For example, about what produces the jets. These I what use is that to any of us here in reality, mate? Can, can you can you elaborate on any of these points? What fucking use is that to the common man, woman, and child here in actual reality? beams of light that we see coming out of the galaxy M87. It's a fucking cartoon, it's a painting! Also, the team has collected a lot of data about another black hole, the one at the center of our own galaxy. Oh. And they haven't even started analyzing that. So stay tuned, there's a lot more to come. Oh, for fuck's sake, I cannot wait. Absolutely riveting stuff, son. Total and utter mince. You should be ashamed of yourself if you're contributing to that crap and try to perpetuate it. See, for any discerning mind out there, it must just be laughable at this point to you. How the fuck can anybody take any of that seriously?